Track 3. Lesson 1. Learning the Jump Up Step Down Pattern When you use the Jump Up Step Down technique, you don't glide in pitch and you don't stay flat on the same note. Instead, you change pitch between words and even between syllables of longer words. First, I'll demonstrate the way Jump Up Step Down works and then we'll practice it one step at a time. Specifically, inside every phrase or every unit of thought, I'm going to ask you to jump up in pitch, actually jump up in pitch to a higher note on an early important word, that is, an important word at or near the beginning of the phrase. That's the jump up part. Then, immediately, on the very next syllable, you start moving the pitch down in small steps, and then continue stepping down on every syllable that follows within that small unit of thought. But you reserve the biggest downward step for the last word or the last idea in that phrase. Before we use it in sentences, let's try this simple, basic jump-up, step-down technique, just counting with numbers. We're going to count from one to six. The first time, don't change pitch. Purposely use a monotone pattern. Stay on the same note for all six words. I'll say it first, then you repeat. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. You do it. That was an example of what I do not want. So this time, jump up in pitch on the word two, then come back down in small steps, like this. Repeat it after me. One, two, three, four, five, six. What you used that time on these numbers was the jump up and step down pattern that I want you to use for phrases and sentences. The first sentence is, I'm very happy to meet you. Let's do it wrong the first time, just for fun, all on one note. So here we go. Repeat after me. I'm very happy to meet you. And this time we'll say it with jumps and steps. Repeat it after me as I jump at the beginning of the word very and then start stepping down on the next syllable. Ready? I'm very happy to meet you. Okay, quickly let me remind you what we just did. We made a big jump at the beginning of the word very. I'm ve. Then small downward steps on the syllables that followed. Very happy to. And then... We made an even larger downward step on the unit's last important idea. Happy to meet you. Let's try the whole thing. Repeat it after me. I'm very happy to meet you. And now you do it once more without hearing me first. Ready? Go. Now, a little later, we'll do longer sentences where you can jump up and step down more than once. But for the rest of this lesson, we'll do sentences with only one pitch jump. Now, the next sentence is, I'll call him on the telephone. Jump up on the word call, and then step down on the syllables that follow. Repeat it after me. I'll call him on the telephone. Don't be afraid to exaggerate this pattern, even if it feels kind of silly, especially now when you're just starting this. The stranger it feels, the better you're probably going to sound. So try it on the next sentence. Repeat after me. I'm going out of town next week. Now, there are no absolute rules telling you which words should have pitch jumps. Later on in Lesson 4, 
I'm going to give you some guidelines for that. But right now, just follow me and jump on the same words that I do. Repeat each of the next short sentences after me. I'd like to make an appointment. I'll get back in the office on Saturday. Sometimes the jump or the high note can happen on the very first word in the phrase. Try it on this one. Get ready to repeat. Thank you for calling. And don't forget to make a noticeably bigger downward step on that last idea. For calling. Try the whole thing again after me. Thank you for calling. Now go back to the beginning of this track, which is track number three, and work your way through lesson one at least two more times. Then stop the disc and practice by reading the sentences again from page two of the drill manual before continuing with the next lesson on track four.